what's going on everyone all right so today i have another doctor's appointment this is now two months eight weeks out from surgery i am really hoping he clears me to work out my chest and my abs because the last time i saw him being four weeks ago a month he cleared me to go to the gym and exercise i just couldn't do chest or abs so he wanted to wait on that and I still wasn't feeling that great anyway at that time. So, I'm hoping now I can, because like I said, my plan, I mentioned in the other video, I want to go back to CrossFit on Monday. So hopefully, um, he gives me good news, hopefully I'm still healing properly and everything looks good, and he gives me his A-OK -okay on it. So that's what we're about to go do. And then after that, gonna get some lunch with Caitlin, and then go visit one of her friends who just had a baby. So. That's what we got planned today. Put that away. Uh-uh. Oh my god, Caitlin just <laughs> was one of those people to leave a shopping cart in me. between yeah, the I'll parking do, spot. I'll no, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Wow. She's that person. Wow. Man, look, it's right over there. It's not even that far. It's not even that far. This is lazy. Man. And I talk mad shit about everyone who does that. Was that so hard? That was hard. That took about 30 seconds, if that. Wait, I mean, been. like, what do you think the results are going to say? Like, I don't understand. Like, what's it testing? A P test, a pregnancy test. Oh! Babe, a P test. What other kind of woman could a P test? What kind of P test? Well, you just say pregnancy test. Jesus. No, it's a P test. Like you pee on it. Pregnancy test. Why don't you just say pregnancy test? Okay, fine. I got a pregnancy totally test. leaving this in the video. Got a pregnancy test. There you go. Because I always think I'm dying. Man. So let me show you where we are. Okay. So you just got extra skin, and that's what, what, what's going on here. Um, we released you from here to here, trying to get this to sort of spread out a little bit. It's funneled here. You have, you know, where there's it's just a skin issue. That's all there's to it. We'll give it a little bit more time to let it settle down. This is what I was telling you. If we have to take out extra skin, we have to. Now, at this point in time, we could probably, if we're going to do that, take it out with a little circle incision and try to just get out some this way. I'm trying not to put scars all over you. That was the concept from the get go. Okay? Now, typically, when we do big sort of skin removals, the incision goes from here down to here and back and forth. In your case, now the skin is shrinking down and getting smaller and smaller. If you want to try to improve this, we can make a little 
circumcision around the nipple and then one right around the nipple and take that extra out and just try to you know, co-opt it in that sort of circular way. Before we couldn't because there was way too much skin. You had this much skin there, so there's no way to do it. But it's right down to where that is. This one's a little pulled up a little bit on you. Same sort of thing. We can do a little circle incision around there and sort of take that out that way if you want to do with that to improve that. Tighten up your tummy here. So there's no fat in here. I know you think it is. This is just extra skin from here. That's all that is to it. So that's where we are here. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? So, um, yes. So, is my skin still Trinking. over time shrinking? So it's not. It, it's going to shrink. You like less fullness here, uh -huh. less fullness here, less fullness here. Yeah. You know, more like that. You're going to have a little extra skin. That's what we were talking about. You got more on this side. It looks to me like some, to some extent. So that scar was put in the same place as this was. So what's happened here is the skin pulled up this direction a little bit more. So that's why you got a little bit more rippling down there. That's okay. where we are. That's where it is. And that's why that crease is a little lower on this side. That's what's coming off. That's, that's okay. the difference between that. Because that, this started the same place. It's just the whole area. We had it all freed up. It just all kind of went up in that direction. So that's where we are. This is, this is almost pretty much okay. There's no other way for me to do this other than try to free it up and try to let it do it again, you know, but I think at this point in time, you know, it doesn't get where you want it. That's the next thing, just take out some skin. My, so my next question is, to take out skin, is that what's going to um, fill the nipple back out? Because I see how it's kind of like folding over on itself, mm -hmm. or like when I stretch my arms up, then I see so, the full so, so, nipple so, there. So, yeah, what would happen to the skin is what's around here. Okay. And when, when you do that, it pulls the nipple out to more full mass. Okay. Right, so you end up with a decision like this. Now, one of the things that happens is you get some little pleating right around the edge. That can happen. That's all there's to it. What's that? Pleating. What does that mean? Like, like the side of a curtain. Oh, this. okay. Okay. So imagine if, if I sewed a circle this big to a circle that big, what would happen? You know, they're, they're not equivalent circles. So when I, you know, so, you know, sew all these down in this areas. But the outside has a little bit of pleating to the outside. Okay. Does that okay. make sense to you? Um, now, I cannot have pleating if I make the incision where it goes around the nipple and vertically down because I can pull some of that extra circle down yeah. in this direction. But then you get a vertical scar. Yeah. This is all about the scar. That's what we're trying to do. I could have given you what you wanted with some yeah. awful scars before, um, but this is what we were talking about. So mm -hmm. we started off what we could do and just we kind of go from there and see what happens. I think that I, I would think that there, I would say to you that there is some utility if you raise that arm and, and try to keep the tether this, making sure it's not stuck down. This is stuck down up here. So when you put that hand up, you try to get the, keep, keep it from being kind of quite stuck there, so you can sort of massage that. But when you lift up, it comes to full length. Yeah. So all I'm trying to do is just make a circle around here and just pull it out that way. And I certainly can do that. We can do that. It's not a big deal. Now, your recommendation, like, I mean, is this something, like, I'm still a few months out to no, where no, I don't wait. need to do yeah. that? No, 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 really. Right this is what we do. We just wait it out. I want okay. you to massage it and really aggressively move that skin around to keep it from being okay. tethered. And uh, we'll see. You just got, you know, you've got a king size sheet on a twin bed now. That's the whole thing. So, uh, this is where the sheet is gathering, right through here. So, I can cut a hole in the sheet and try to sort of pull it out that way. Yeah. That'll be the next, next thing. So, we just need to see where you are, you know, some more time. This may settle down enough for you. Uh -huh. I mean, the other option, I mean, on this side right here, I can just take a little wedge there and just pull it up to, to length just like that pretty easily because your skin is doing better over here than on, on this side. Uh, on that side, we may have to do a little bit more. Um, but time will tell us. Yeah, but remember I told you from the get-go, this is a skin course, issue. Yeah. I usually try to do the, the minimal amount to start off with. Now, I did a whole lot more to take out a nipple, but I took, I mean, you had, a, you know, 100 grams of, Tissue that was all the way up here, so we took all that out of there. Actually, it did a mistake, and that's what we really did. And, uh, and, and so you had a pretty big, big operation. So now you just got this bed sheet that's a little bit too big. This is standard stuff, this is kind of how this goes. Yeah, everything's okay. So you're, you're, you've got effectively no torso fat here at all. This is just skin here. I mean, it's that, that's your, that is your fascia right there, right there. So you're real close in terms of that. Um, and this is the same thing, so there's not. Okay. Just a tiny amount of fat there, not much at all. So, now we don't get the fat that's inside your abdominal cavity that doesn't come out, but no, I think you're doing fine. Okay. It's okay. So, um, let's do this. Let's get you through the summertime. Mm -hmm. You start exercising, you have any problems, let me see you. Let me just see the first to follow and see what we got. Okay. Okay? Hey.
All right. That's awesome. But you got you can cut the grass, you can cut down the trees, yeah. you can do all the stuff you need to do. That's my job. Okay. That's your job. You have yeah, to do all that? Okay. All right. I enjoy being outside. Well, good. All right. You guys thank, thank you. you. All right, thank you. Stop walking next to me. I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, you can't run in those shoes, can you? Yes, I can. I can run just as good to a stat in these clogs as I can in the Uh huh. God. <laughs> she almost got me. Yeah. All right. Good news, doctor, no, doctor has 100% cleared this guy to work out, do whatever I want. So, better believe Monday, back at CrossFit. Also, he doesn't want to see me again till the fall. So, we're going to go a few ready. months. We're getting married late fall. It's not anywhere near close to that. So, about to get some food. All the food. All the food. More food. Caitlin's so out of shape man, right now. Shut up. And I'm saying that while I'm breathing heavy. Right. And you have sweat. So. Because I got joggers on. Good joggers on. Should have put shorts on. You mean jogging? The silent J. What? Like candy. Eating at Chipotle. Um, let's do black rice. Black beans, please. Steak. I thought I was just eating. Guacamole and then the corn and tomatoes. Alright, so I got a burrito bowl. Steak. Um, tomatoes, salsa, cheese, lettuce, guac, sour. So. And what'd you get? Better stuff with you. Okay. Black beans, half chicken, half steak, corn salsa, I guess that's tomato salsa, lettuce, guacamole, no grain, no dairy. All right, so we're back at my place now. So just kind of talk about what the doctor said. So everything is going well, likes how I'm healing. He doesn't want to see me again for a few months now until the fall. So we'll schedule that appointment later on. Um, he says, you know, with my chest, I really need to be rubbing it out, moving it around, loosening it up, and to give it a few months and let's see what my chest looks like and how it's healing and the, the rippling and wrinkling that's going on that may go away now if it doesn't then there's a chance of getting any additional surgery to fix that but we're not to that point yet he says that's just an option so very happy with everything he cleared me to go back to the gym so i'm super pumped about that gonna do it hit it hard monday uh good to see all my friends again hang out get a good workout in so hope you guys enjoyed the video as always uh, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you guys next time.